Okay, here we are. Yes, here we are. Happy hello, Monday. Hello, everyone. Um, Ryan and Lisa here to talk about our essential aminos. Um, this is one of my absolute favorite supplements. Um, I do not go a day without. It is so crucial and so important. And I feel like it's kind of missed. A lot of people don't really understand the importance and the, the health value that this one little supplement has. Very true. Um, so Essential amino acids, we're gonna just gonna kind of dive right into a little bit about what they are. There are nine essential amino acids. They are called essential because our body needs to get them from our diet. We do not make them. Um, they typically are found in uh, a lot of meats. Uh, they're, they're in other things too, but the, they're dominantly um, in meat. Um, and essential amino acids or amino acids are the building blocks of protein. Without them, like our body cannot do what it's supposed to do to build the muscle that it needs to build. Um, they're also involved in many things that I'll get into as well. A lot of people have heard about branch chain amino acids or you hear BCAA is the big marketing thing as well. Um, it's big into the, in the, the bodybuilding and the gym industry. So it's kind of made, I think personally, it's made those kind of pull away from it. Well, like, oh, BCAAs or amino acids. Yeah, that's only for bodybuilders or muscle, muscle heads, whatnot. But it's not, guys. We need. We all muscle need heads. muscle heads. Yep. We we <laughs> we all we all need. We all need. Everybody needs essential amino acids. And in these nine essential amino acids are three of the branch chain amino acids. So it's kind of funny. Like you you think taking a branch chain amino acid supplement is is do is good. It's it's okay. But, but that's only three of the nine. Like we need all nine to to thrive. Um, some other things that amino acids do for our body to help break down food, grow and repair body tissue. Of course, we said build muscle, um, provide lean body mass. They help, um, they're an energy source, yeah. maintain healthy skin, hair and nails. We all want that. Boost immune system. They help your gut, normal digestive function. So it's super important to get all your nine essential amino acids in every single day. And like I said, you can get these from protein. They're in the protein that we eat. But what we've also discussed before is the majority of us are way under eating in protein. So if we're under eating in protein, what are, else are we under, under eating in or under consuming is our essential amino acids. Um, so certain things that can happen if we don't get the amino acids that we need, you know, we can, um, I mean, we have a, our immune system hmm. doesn't thrive. So okay. it's not just, it's not just about, about muscle. Um, neurotransmitters, but, hormones. Neurotra oh, yep. Yep. All that there stuff. There you go. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> um, what did I want Which to means say? mood, right? We're talking about like big stuff, mood, hormone dysregulation. If you don't have enough protein and therefore amino acids, that snowball effect can be pretty large. Right. It's yeah. like nothing is working properly. Right. Exactly. Okay. We're, it's not just like our muscles not building That's as right. well as we wanted to, like our body is not functioning as it should. Um, I found this, um, I was actually listening to a podcast and I, I wrote this down. It was a podcast all about amino acids from this doctor that I really love, um, amino acid scores. So like how much our body actually needs was established by the World Health Organization to prevent malnutrition in Africa. So if we actually went with these scores with the essential amino acids that we, we should be getting, that, I mean, that's, that's really um, just to survive, right? And our goal is not to just survive. Our goal is to thrive. Same thing that goes for that protein um, intake that, that we're told, you know, um, 0 0.0 grams per kilogram of body 0. weight. 0. 0. Sorry, 0.8. Sorry, 0. 0.8 kilograms. <laughs> 0. 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. Okay, that again is just to survive, not to thrive. We're, we are here to thrive in this world, guys. We've got to be strong um, in and out. So, but we have a few unique things about our live good essential amino acids. And it really sets us apart from the others and why this product, why this one supplement is so good. So um, helpful. And I want Ryan to dig in to what makes us different. Okay, sure thing. So look, when we talk about essential amino acids, in my mind, it's as much of a discussion about sarcopenia. That is a big word that science industry uses to basically normalize the, the, the natural loss of muscle starting at the age of what, 40? 30. 30. Yeah. And so, but that has now been normalized, but that's a big problem, right? Because in my mind, truthfully, in my mind that Lean, the body composition and lean muscle mass is probably the largest, best predictor of longevity and healthy aging. Okay. I, I think that's, that's where I stand on the issue. You know, if you have more lean muscle mass, you know that your body is more well equipped to handle the rigors of aging. You know, as we age, our appetite decreases, our ability to absorb protein decreases, 
And this all starts at, like you said, 30. I thought it was more about 40, but like you know, 3% every year starting at say 30 or 40 is a, is a significant loss of lean muscle mass. So that in my mind, when we talk essential amino acids, we're talking, in, we're talking protein, essential amino acids, as well as battling the natural loss of muscle. So also called, also known as sarcopenia. Um, which I really don't think should be a normal thing. We, we really have got to start to reverse this trend. All right, and central amino. So amino acids are second to water, the most abundant in, the most abundant substance in our body because they are, it's like Lisa said, they are the building blocks of protein, but really they're the building blocks of life. Because if you think about what protein is responsible for, like she said, obviously muscle synthesis, right? Um, of course, like hormone synthesis and hormone dysregulation can wreak havoc on your body if you're out of balance enzymes which are like start from everything in our mouth mouth to our stomach and are all over they, they they are a big part of every enzymatic and biological reaction in the body and neurotransmitters and i usually just throw out the big ones that people can relate to which is serotonin and dopamine because they tend to be the ones most associated with mood but there's, there's neurotransmitters that play a role in every aspect of life so having essential amino acids in your life is a really big deal we get it from diet, but do we get enough and do we get it in the optimized ratio? So now, Lisa, they have shown, multiple studies have shown that there's actually a preferred balance ratio of essential amino acids. So we call this the essential aminos because we included all nine of the essential. There's about 20 amino acids that are responsible for muscle growth, mus muscle synthesis, muscle protein synthesis. But the nine essentials are the ones that we have to get from our food or from the supplement. So that's why we did that here. But what's most important about this is, and she referenced branch chain amino acids, they are, there's three of them and they are considered essential aminos. They are in this product. And as a matter of fact, it's the leucine, the primary branch chain amino acid that's most responsible for triggering the body to go into muscle protein synthesis. That product is leucine. And you'll see that we have a higher ratio of that in here than most other products have. That's really important for muscle protein synthesis. And ultimately that is what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to help you put on more lean muscle mass. So we have the leucine in a higher ratio. We have the isoleucine and the valine. Those are your three branch chain amino acids. Now there's other, obviously we have the other essentials and there's some non-essentials. We added citrulline as well as arginine because we wanted to pump this product up and really enhance this product to allow people that are using this in the way, and doesn't, guys, it's not just about exercise and muscle. This isn't like a bodybuilding thing. This is a normal, healthy living thing. This is about increasing your health span and really aging gracefully and maximizing your longevity. So we added the citrulline and the arginine because those are the two primary precursors in the nitric oxide pathway. We speak a lot about nitric oxide. We love nitric oxide because it really does help increase the blood flow in the body. But that, that we've, had, we've seen studies that have supported having more citrulline than arginine. So we put three grams of citrulline and 500 milligrams of arginine, which is definitely the preferred and optimized ratio. Uh, to maximize nitric oxide production in this product as well. We also wanted to make sure that electrolytes were included because you're talking about muscle function, nerve function. Electrolytes are so critical for, for making sure that the nerve conduction and the muscle you know, uh, communication are, are, are optimized. So that's why we added sodium, potassium, and magnesium as well. Um, all right, that was a mouthful. What do we have? L-citrulline? Oh, sure. What did we talk about citrulline? I just said citrulline. Sorry. So glycine? I meant well, L- L-carnitine, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, carnitine, also. So carnitine is in here. It's also designed because it can help you re reduce um, fat mass as well as increase lean muscle mass. And, uh, and then L-glutamine. And the glutamine too. It's great for gut health. It's great for Super. muscle building, good for sleep. Yeah, I've always had... Um you know, gut issues, they just run in my family. So okay. I always make sure that I'm taking the L-glutamine. So it's so that's one reason why we wanted to add it in there. It not only does it help support the muscle, muscle growth and function cell repair, but it is so good for the gut lining. So I'm sure you've all heard of leaky gut. You know, it's really when you have damage to the gut lining. So we have all these intestinal issues, but L-glutamine is great for that. So that's in here as well. Cool. So one thing I want to answer, because I get a lot of questions on it. I know it's a difficult thing to sort of understand is, why do we have essential amino acids? And then you hear us talk about protein being the building box or, or broken down into essential aminos. Well, there's a difference. There's a big difference. These are both complementary to one another. And as a matter of fact, protein synthesis will stop happening after about, you know, roughly about three hours. So we're not talking about waking up in the middle of the night like the bodybuilders do to eat protein throughout the night, which they do because they know that that's what the best way to build muscle. But throughout the day, it's very challenging to actually hit the goals that Lisa and I talk about in our protein goals. We're talking about up to a gram of protein per pound of body weight. For me, that's 200 plus grams of protein a day. Very, very, very challenging. Not to mention you max out at about, I don't know, I think it's 50 
So, but you max out the amount of protein that your body can actually utilize. It actually can break down, digest, absorb, and put to work. You max it out. There's, there is a certain limit there. So if you're trying to spread your protein out throughout the day, which is really what you should be doing every three hours roughly, but amino acids are a great way to do it. I'll, just so you know where I come from, how I do it, mid-afternoon, actually I do pre-workout. I do it as a pre-workout okay. because I, I do pre-workout I, I, about 30 minutes prior to a workout. Mid-afternoon, if anybody, if you guys are out there and you're just struggling with the sugary beverages or the, the junk beverages, try mixing one of these and replacing that. That'd be a great solution. But if you're eating lunch at noon and then they get dinner again at six, instead of a, 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 a not, not a good healthy snack, you can try a supplement with essential aminos. It gives you the protein muscle synthesis reaction, starts that process for you, mm. right? And that's a great way to supplement too. And that's sometimes I go right before bed. Sometimes I'll do right before bed. So, I mean, I'm not suggesting you do three or four or five, six times a day, but you can safely, safely use this six or six two times per day, three times per day, but at least once a day, I, I, absolutely in between meals. Yeah. And I, I love mixing um, this in the afternoon with my super reds. That's, what oh, I, think. that's I, put cool. the, I put the two of them together. Yeah, that's great. Um, I, I actually had the question on an email uh, last week. She was at, someone was asking, where's the protein content in the amino acids? There is no protein content in the amino acids. Right. Um, we, you, that's in, that's in our protein pattern. So protein is a macronutrient. It is an, an energy. It's our food. It's an energy source. It's the most important macronutrient that we've talked about. Right. Um, but that is not in. There is no protein content in the amino acids. That's another reason why we need both, guys. You need the amino acids, but you also need protein. You need to consume protein. Okay. So again, the most important macronutrient. So that's yeah, and when you consume the whole protein, you're not just consuming consuming essential amino acids. You're getting the full run of the of aminos, and there's mm -hmm. hundreds of amino acids out there. Um, one thing I will I wanted to mention though is you do get to count essential aminos towards your protein goal. This has eight grams of essential aminos per serving, um, so you get to count that towards your protein goal. Really, is is a great way to look at it. Actually, sometimes you can count it higher. I'm not going to tell you to start getting real technical about it, but because it's so optimized with essential aminos for that reason, you potentially could say it's higher than one-to-one -one for protein, because like I said, whole food protein is not just essential amino acids. Right. You got a lot of other good stuff in those good quality proteins for sure. Right. Um, what else did I want to say? Uh, and I'm just, while you're looking at the questions, I just want to say too, also for our prices, um, members, this is only 1995. Okay. 30 servings. Um, take it every day, guys. It, I mean, it's no reason not to. Um, retail price, it's just under $30, $29.95. So um, super important to get um, products are third party tested. Yes. Um, that's fine. Keep going. That's what we're okay. saying. Well, I was, I was saying the price. The pricing. Well, I was yeah. also going to talk about the lean body pack because that's what we said last week. We oh, came right. up we about with weight, lean muscle mass and all that thing for what is it? $89. I think you get the lean body pack. Quite frankly, I would buy the ultimate wellness pack. Um, it's only $10 more and you get the super reds and the super greens for it. Yeah. Um, some of that, no, no, no dyes in our products, guys. We are, we are super clean, yeah. um, non-toxic, I mean, free, non-GMO, dairy free. I put a red dye, um, near Forget my it. body and nope. my children not that too. They avoid, you know. Yep. Yeah. Not happening. Yep. Look at the ingredients. Um, look at the supplement facts on there. Read the supplement facts. How much of each of you? And how much of each of studies. studies. So okay. studies have shown. So leucine for sure is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is great in greater proportion than the other essential amino acids. You'll see the isoleucine and valine too. And then the other ones are just based on studies. It's just, and there's some gurus in the space that, um, go ahead, Lisa, okay. you want to say something? No, I was just going to read the, the, another question that was asking about how much water, it, it says 80 ounces on the back. You can do it more. Like if you have a big water jug, say you're, and you can put it in for your day and drink out, does not does not change the um, effectiveness. Yeah, and going back to the, how does it count towards a protein goal? It counts towards the muscle protein synthesis aspect. And and, and also really it, at that same token, it's the muscle fibers that increase your met resting metabolic rate. It's the muscle that is gets broken down first if you're not eating to free up amino acids to make your enzymes and your hormones and, and, and your neurotransmitters. So yes, this does count towards your protein goal. I'm still, don't get me wrong. You can't just rely on this alone. Although your body probably could, it just, it's not good uh, health, a healthy balance. Um, someone's asking about combining all the things, reds, greens, proteins, and the aminos all in one. Yes, you can. Um, it, it's really based on your flavor, you know, the flavor profile. Um, because of the electrolytes in here, you know, you get, there is a little bit of a sodium. Um, so slightly, slightly salty flavor, but I mean, yeah, I, always I love feel it. like everything can go in a protein powder. I mean, yeah. a protein shake and it all tastes well. So yes, if it tastes good to you, go for it. You can, um, oh, we also, 
have just the lemon lime here. Oh, sure. He just ran out of our fruit punch that we had. So, um, well, not the warehouse. warehouse. No, not the warehouse. Our house right. <laughs> ran out of the fruit punch. So, two flavors, guys, both delicious. Try them both. Um, Ryan's drinking one right now. Um, try them both and find which one you like the best. But I go back and forth because I honestly, I like them both. Um, I do want to make a note that you, I'm sure a lot of you that have been taking these know that this is not the original scooter oh, that's yeah. in there. <laughs> For some reason, our oh, manufacturers man. put a teeny tiny thing. handle um, of the scooper. It is the same size as the greens and red. So I just, when I'm out of a green and red, I just take the scooper and I save it on the side. But we will, uh, next next go around, we will have this scooper, not the little teeny handle. It is, it is a pain. Cool. All right. Well, we intentionally kept this thing short today. We're at quarter after 12. We've covered all topics. Lisa, what else do you have? Um, I... I think that is it. I, I'm like, I could always say more. This topic's but, huge. Yeah. One thing I do want to say is there was, um, and I've said this before, um, and I know I had sent this article to Ben, but there was a study on amino acid use in um, bedridden. I, I think it was based mm, in a No, that was sponsored by NASA, actually. That was looking at what astronauts experience in zero gravity environment. So there's no resistance on the muscle. Oh, no. That's not, no, it's not a different one. Oh, okay. But cool. th that's him. <laughs> that's it. But no, this was at bed, at bed rest. And they were given um, amino acids, um, no other change in diet. And these bed rest, the ones that were on the amino acids and bed rest actually were able to maintain their muscle mass but not go into muscle atrophy. So that just kind of shows you how important and how crucial these are. Because like Ryan was saying at the beginning, we really need to avoid um, all the ailments and all the sicknesses that come comes with muscle atrophy when we lose muscle mass. Yeah, and the one I was referencing was from NASA and they did a 28 day study, they did the same thing at bed rest and they literally had them at bed rest for 28 days. They showed muscle mass, zero net loss, but they lost muscle strength, obviously, because they're not working the sure. muscle, but the muscle mass did retain, Yeah, cool. which is huge. I mean, that's incredibly beneficial for people that are having a hard time with mobility. But obviously, this isn't just the end all be all for muscle and you got to get out and you have to move and you have to build, have to have some resistance on the muscles, whether bands or weights or whatever, even walking and just getting out and moving. So, right. Taking this is not just going to make you super buff. It's <laughs> yeah, no, you gotta put the work no, in too. Got to put the work, put the work in, in, of course. Of course. Yeah, it's not uh, easy. Yeah. But any other questions that you guys have, maybe if we didn't get to your question or you think of it after the math, please go ahead and email me, Lisa at livegood.com. Happy to answer your questions. All right, guys. Uh, everybody, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you again next Monday, 12 o'clock Eastern. Y'all have a wonderful, great, happy, productive Monday. Good. Bye, guys. See ya.